All right. Um, I wasn't sure if I was even going to make this recording and just do like a small uh, update video for Hector, especially because I just released the updated tier list. But I haven't talked about him in two years, so might as well. Um, just a heads up, I'm not feeling well. Like, I'm taking off work today, so that's the only reason this is coming out today. All right. So, Hector just got a buff on his third skill and it kind of just doubles down on what he already was supposed to be doing he is an esports unit that you're supposed to dump your buffs to buff up your, um, your other dps uh, if possible he can mp and just provide more uh utility to your team uh and then you just want him to die off you do not want him to stick around uh if the enemy is about to do like an AoE MP, uh, even better because it just means you don't have to put a taunt CE and you just get a good amount of buffs that... Hmm, I, I don't know if any other servant provides defense down, attack up, and MP damage up. It's a rare trifecta. But if you can do it right... Um, like he's not going to be better than like a five star esports that is just dumping buffs and then dipping out but there is definitely room you can put him in a team especially if you don't have a ton of other support all right uh we don't care about up here i only see him as a sub dps i don't see him as a main i don't even care about how much damage he does he's literally just here to drop his buffs and go so we're just going to ignore this stuff. Starting dog shit. Again, why I don't care upstairs. Like he has really bad hit counts. He has meh gains. Um, if he doesn't crit on this is like pretty bad. Um, yeah, th there's nothing to talk about upstairs. This is going to be real quick. Uh, Guardian Troy, 20% MP damage and 20, uh, two attacks of damage cut of a thousand for three turns um personally i prefer Bediviers, uh tactics because it's mp damage and mp gain but i mean bedivere doesn't provide other buffs besides that so like bedivere is like an actual sub dps and like uh hector kind of just uses his mp to like buff up his the uh, other dps Second skill, and honestly, this is probably going to get buffed next easily. I wouldn't buff this before they double buff his MP. Um, chance to drain one enemy, 80% chance, so terrible, and an 80% chance to stun. This this skill is bad. I hate when like stun and drain have chance chance effects because there is there are times where this skill will actually do nothing. And you have no way to control that. If you're able to give Hector debuff success rate, cool. The stun chance will at least go up. But I'm pretty sure you cannot increase strain chance. Buff success rate, debuff success rate. I'm pretty sure neither of them work on strain chance. But I could be wrong about that. Third skill, we're going to have to go to Atlas to see it, but in general, or basically it's a, it turns the skill into a charisma and then he gets a 20 battery, I believe. Yep. 20% attack for the party. Uh, he keeps the cleanse because it used to be disengaged, 2000 heal, and then a 20 battery for himself. The 20 battery is static. Basically, if you are already using Hector for esports, then good news. He just got a lot better. His setups are a lot more flexible. He does not need that much AOE charge. But he's still not going to be out utility, out utility -ing, uh higher rarity servants if they're also doing something like this. Well, actually, no. 
it, it depends on the DPS. Because if, let's take uh, Ellie, for example. Yeah, let's use Ellie as an example. Um, if your DPS has a ton of defense down, like, they easily apply it in their kit, and they're not female, then Liz isn't going to help out your DPS that much. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Like, this is a pretty goaded skill. I'm not going to lie. Like, Ellie, Ellie is one of those characters that used to only be good for buffing female allies. But now, like, that she has, like, Osaka Hime's buff strip, except uh, lower defense. And it's not in, yeah, no, it, there's a difference between the two. I, I would take Ellie over um, Osaka Bihime for just that purpose. But if your ally isn't female, then this is literally less than what Hector does. Like your servant has to be a female to like really matter for this. Otherwise, you should be using Hector, and and that is one of the few cases where a three star is going to be a better option than a four star. Uh, one second. All right, sorry again, stick. And I hate the feeling of my nose running into my mustache. It feels disgusting. Uh, I'm probably going to wash my face in a second. Um. Yeah. So passives. 17.5% debuff resist, 8% quick. Pens, he's a five, uh, three star, so you're gonna be able to get all these pens anyway. Um, this is against Achilles. And yeah, like skill, kill down reloading, doesn't matter if you want him to just die instantly. Like, yeah, it's not gonna matter. MP has been buffed. Defense pierce and 20% damage uh, or defense down on the MP. It happens act after damage, which is why he would want to be um, like Esports. Like he's not going to be the one like activating his MP last. He's going to be the one uh, going first to like really help your DPS. But if you run him with something like Demonic Bodhisattva, hey, like he at this point, you max out mana loading and you just have the skill buffed and then he does not need uh external charge he's able to like uh, and again as long as that demonic booty safa is mob'd but then you have easy 30 percent mp damage along with the 20 percent attack and 20 percent mp damage so that is some like super solid uh steroids however He's still a three star. Now that it again, that is either a positive or a negative. Uh, if you bring him to a saber boss, it's probably the best outcome because there's no way he's gonna live, especially if, like he's only level 70. There's no way he's gonna survive getting hit by a saber boss. He's either gonna get killed in a single hit or probably two, but you know, like Hector himself, as like this damage cut and that's gonna be the only thing keeping him alive uh proofs it just says seeds um phoenix feathers yeah this a bunch of shit like you don't want to spend on three star honestly he only needs the seeds though for ascension he doesn't need them anywhere else interesting all right uh bond ce mp damage while he's on the field um I would definitely go run demonic Buddhisattva over putting this on just because like that does like yes this increases your DPSs but it's only gonna be for a turn over getting this 20% to 30% and it lasting for three turns. That's kind of my mindset. Like, I think Demonic Bodhisattva is going to be Hector's best CE as a sub DPS 
that like strictly because you don't need like you're able to just go like that as long as your mana loading is maxed out like that's the only thing that really needs to be maxed out although you probably want one and three maxed out for potential damage but are you really using three lures on hector like one is a lot on a three star like they have to be really good uh using three uh my opinion this you probably don't have a lot of five stars if, if it's coming down to using this or coming down to using your lures on hector instead of them and yeah that's hector uh, i'm expecting we get another uh at least one more buff for uh lost belt six, uh five yeah like probably atlantis so like fifth or whenever they uh the next area comes out like once olympus comes out a comment or when the banners come out that's what i'm expecting like more buffs but anyway i'll see you guys later peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace